you may be wondering, what could I possibly be doing with a leaf strapped to a mop and a fan strapped to my shield on my back? And the answer, friends, is that this is what it looks like when you need to bring in the gear that will clean up this place and restore the castle eventually. Probably with, you know, I, I need a few more bomb flowers, I think. <laughs> but restore the castle to its um former glory and maybe get it down from the sky. Oh, look at this. I really do look like the janitor ready to come and just like start sweeping. It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> but in my defense, I was trying to get a Korok down from a statue. So I, I, I actually think that this is a pretty good look for me personally. Wow. Like, come on, I'm I'm ready, I'm prepared. I could take on absolutely any dust bunny at this moment. Ah, <sighs> but all right. So let's go ahead and stop uh, playing around even though I, I, I really want to, because I actually do feel bad that apparently everybody here, they don't recognize me because you know, kind of look like the janitor at the moment. But, uh, or I suppose like one of the servants cleaning the castle, but they've been risking their life in this gloom with no sundalion applesauce to go ahead and eat, looking for me. And that just doesn't feel right, you know? Mm. Oh, is this actually the captain of the guard? He's just the first guy I decided to talk to. Huh? Mm? Link, is that you? You're alive and all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Boy, I have some mixed news for you, sir. Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you and you're here to help with the search? I see. Maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Hey. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out, though. We need some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. <laughs> Captain! It's Princess Zelda! Wait, what? Princess Zelda, she's safe! Um... Um... Mm? Wait, what? Huh? You saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? How strange. Th this is an emergency situation. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it's it makes a bit of sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Okie dokie. Um, okay. Oh? Princess Zelda dissipating in delight. I don't understand. I mean, I mean, I could show you my glowy hand, but maybe now is not the time. Uh, also, hello, sir. Whoa, what was that? My eyes weren't playing tricks, were they? No, they wouldn't do that. That was Princess Zelda. What's going on? Well, the short answer is that it's complicated. The long answer is that it's complicated. Uh, also, I... Now I feel like I have to search every nook and cranny because there's definitely Koroks here. Oh, and that reminds me, there's actually a tree trunk where I know there is a Korok hiding somewhere over there. But one thing at a time, I think. All right, all right, all right. So let's see. Is there any convenient little spot with water that I could possibly just fall into? Because at the moment, if I try- whoops! At the moment, if I try to go ahead and jump down, I'm pretty sure it's going to hurt fairly significantly. Um, all right, let's see. Maybe we'll go ahead and try- whoops! <gasps> Ow! I mean, that's one way to do it, I guess. Whoa, what's over here? Okay, maybe- whoa, 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 okay, there's actually something over here. I, on the one hand, deeply appreciate how anything and everything I stick my nose into absolutely rewards my, like, curiosity. And on the other hand, occasionally am fairly concerned that I'm going to get myself into big trouble. What's this? It's one of those little lizards! Oh! That was really cute! So those were, just to review, since we are indeed Korok zoologists after all, the Hightail Lizards. So it's a bit slow to react at times, but given a chance to escape, it will dart off quickly. So speed boosting elixir. Huh, I wonder if I should use a speed boosting elixir. 
Ooh, 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 that's water. Can I jump in that? It's kind of far away though. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, it kind of moves kind of fast. Huh. But I mean, that's one way to get back to the... Okay. 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 That's one way to do it. And that's one way to get, like, back to where we need to go. And there might be some stuff down there that could be useful. So let's go ahead and shove down a couple more apples. And actually, these weird bananas? I guess I'll go ahead... Okay. Uh, when it's used as an ingredient, the resulting dish will temporarily increase your attack power. I have no idea why that banana mushroom man attacked me. I still think that was a little bit, like, rude, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Also, at some point I need to do some more cooking. Cooking has now become an absolutely essential way to survive. Running into very rough and tough... There we go, come on. Monsters. So, let's see. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> all right, all right, let's get it together here. <laughs> and I love the idea that maybe I could go visit a great fairy. So I don't even know where to find them. So that we could go ahead and get better armor. Are you kidding? Okay. All right. Fine. I'm a little embarrassed about that. Maybe we'll go ahead and we'll try to just like get down like normal people to some degree and not just like rush off into the hinterlands and just fall to our doom and death. Also, it might be useful to jump down here. Say hello to everybody. Just see what's happening. You sir have a fedora. What? There was some commotion up above just now. I wonder what that was about. Maybe they found a weapon that was still intact. Nah, that would be unbelievable. What about the weapons? Ooh. Hey, it's a new face. Ooh. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many, region many regions in search of weapons that might still be uh, intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. Oh. They're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. Okay, that's very useful information. Uh, and this... <gasps> a soup ladle weapon! A kitchen implement that's often used for serving delicious soups. Oh my gosh. I want it so bad. Do I have anything? I have a spear, I have a mop, let's see. Do I have anything worthwhile to trade out with... <sighs> You know what? You only live once. And, well, actually, technically, you live many times because, you know, of what just happened. <clears throat> you only live once! And I'm gonna grab the soup ladle. Does it actually... It's so cute! <gasps> I wonder if I can fuse it with food. That would be so cool. Can I actually get, like... Okay, what's the strongest... Why is an apple fairly strong by fuse strength? Let's see. Most used type. Fuse attack power. There we go. A palm fruit! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, what happens if I grab my soup ladle and then I fuse it with the palm fruit? That's hilarious. I have now been promoted from... Ugh, out loud. I have now been promoted from being the... Um, oh, there's a lot of weapons over here. Hmm. Whoa, soldier's broadsword? Okay, that's actually kind of important. Is that better than the Traveler's Claymore? Yep. And then what's this? Not as good, maybe. Better than Traveler's Spear? Soldier's Spear, yes! Okay, those are both better weapons than what I had, so we'll take those. And then we'll glance around for any signs of Koroks for a quick second. But now I have been promoted from janitor to being able to uh, be the, the actual chef. I kind of love that. Oh, there's building material over here, too. Neat! I wonder what I'm supposed to do with it. Dude, careful. Ooh. Standing on the edge and staring in is intense. Seeing a chasm in person is far better than hearing about it. Ooh. Why would you do that? Just up and startle someone at the edge of the void. This chasm is near bottomless, just like all the others created by the upheaval. Personally, I do not want to hit the bottom of a nearly bottomless chasm. Even though it scares me, I can't stop staring into it. I get ya. 
I get ya. I too am afraid of heights, but also I think I have to go and deal with that anyway, because that might have clues about what happened to Princess Zelda. Oh, oh look at that hat! That's so cool! I want to wear a little pot for a hat! I, I mean, I've just been promoted to chef, like camp chef, so maybe you could give me a pot for my hat? Did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal of the princess. We're hoping to help anyway, but the captain is way up on top of the gatehouse. It doesn't look like he'll be coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked, so uh, best stay out of the way until we can help somehow. I hear he's pretty busy. I'd probably be annoying if I tried to go up to him right now. Aww, that's really nice. I don't think I can go ahead and like build something for him to be able to go and visit with the captain. So we'll just kind of leave that as it is for the moment. And meanwhile... Hello, sir. Ooh, shiny things inside. Oh. I knew there was going to be some weapons inside. We've turned up nothing in here that would help us find the princess, unfortunately. <laughs> You're the spitting image of Link. I bet if Captain Haas saw you, he'd get so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. Oh. Huh? Princess Zelda? Well, even if that was true, we'll wait for Captain Haas's instructions. Oh, that's so interesting. I guess I told him about what's going on with the princess missing. Ooh, a traveler shield. A sturdy shield loved by many an adventurer. It's made of animal hide and sturdy wood and is best suited for defending against weak monsters or animals. Good to know. Um, I would indeed like to take it, please. I really wish I could just drop shields, but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead this one. There we go. All right, ooh! Can you handle my soup ladle? That's what I thought. Oh, okay, well these guys can. Um, <laughs> okay, 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 let's see. What about... <gasps> arrows! Look, I need every one of the arrows I can get. So if I have to raid like the castle stores, it's all in the name of... Oh, for crying out loud! It's all in the name of trying to go ahead and save the world. So I think I think it's fair beans. All right, let's see. No suspicious Korok activity over here, pretty sure. Just double triple checking. Good, good, good. Carry on. There we go. What about over here? I thought I saw <gasps> Korok. I can't believe it. I actually found one. Ooh, and there's something, is there something shiny in there? Oh my gosh, that's a window I could have just gone through. <laughs> oh, hello! Is that the way of it then, little friend? Nope, 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 nope. nope. All right, all right, now where are you? Aha! All right, now where are you? Are you going up again? You sure are. <laughs> I knew we would find some! And... Gotcha! Yeah. <gasps> oh, hello, little guy! I'm, I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty proud. Like I said, Korok... Hmm. We'll, we'll be Korok botanist today. But a Korok botanist, I sensed something in my leafy senses. And I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to name this guy um, Camp Chef. Because we literally just... <laughs> we literally just went ahead and we made a soup ladle that has a coconut attached to it. So I think that, that, that that's pretty good for a Korok name if you ask me. Also, what the heck's going on over there? Oh, whoa, bokoblins and a suspicious tree. All right, well, I'm I'm pretty happy about... Whoop. Cool. With having found a Korok over there, my, my Korok senses were tingling, and there's probably quite a few more scattered all over the place. What's that? Oh, it's a cricket. But we do have... We do have work to do. Though at least now everybody knows that we're alive, so I don't feel so bad about them spending forever and a day trying to use up all of their time figuring out how to rescue me. All right, let's see. How do I climb down here safely? Only... Okay, there we go. There we go. That's much better. Oh, this is a lot... This is a lot further down than I realized. 
Um, but that's a good sign because it means that it is a place where probably few have explored and we can go up and down the sides to see if anything is hiding on our way back to Pura. Because I'm sure that they would want me to do a proper survey of the area to see if there's any Koroks, since that's obviously their concern. And if it's not their concern, then they're talking to the wrong person. Like I said, Korok, um, veterinarian. Here, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not actually hero of time. Just, just Korok vet. I'm here to vet the Koroks. All right, let's see. I'm part of the search and rescue team. I think this is far enough. Phew, okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure I can just swim the rest of the way, but I want to take a little peek at what's over the edges here, just in case. Oh my gosh. Why is it that every instance of curiosity is rewarded so abundantly? I'll take it. <gasps> yes! A soldier's bow. That. That. That was worth it. That was worth it and possibly a hint at what to do with those bokoblins over there. I'm... I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. My curiosity has managed to, um, to be sated because I had a feeling that there was something good over here and sure enough there was. I bet there's something over in that broken rock and... <gasps> <clears throat> there is indeed a Korok over there. Huh. Well, like I said, Korok veterinarian. Kind of got primary mission Korok vet. So we will get back to Pura <laughs> so that we can go ahead and work with her soon. Uh, but, you know, kind of need to see if I can, I can do something about this whole Korok situation really fast. All right, let's see if I do a running jump. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay. All right, this totally isn't going to backfire on me. Also, what's in the water over there? <gasps> there are birds! There are birds! Really, really, really cute birds! They're ducks! They're bathing! They're putting their little duck butts up in the air! Okay, this isn't good. Uh, whoops. Dang it, the water is a lot stronger than I was expecting. <laughs> I don't know what else I was expecting. Because obviously there's going to be a strong current here. Okay, okay, that's okay. This is why you make energizing elixirs. This is why you have omelets. Uh-oh. Oh man, oh no, oh no. Are you kidding? And now there's something in the water with me? <laughs> can I just, can I eat the stamina bulb? Is that gonna help? Okay, that didn't help. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Well, on the downside, drowned. On the plus side, managed to go ahead and I have now confirmed the existence of some sort of aggressive aquatic species. Totally worth our time. Alright, alright, alright. You know what this needs? Yeah. Yeah. That's what this needs. Should I really? Should I really? Maybe not. But I'm gonna. Let's see. I wonder... My fan shield is now badly damaged. Well, okay, look. I want to see if we can reach that coral. It, it shouldn't be a very hard science. And then, whoops, no, 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 don't waste those. Come on, come on. Get me down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Man, if only... Okay, wait, 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 wait. I had an idea. I have an idea. Maybe what I really need to do is I need to go ahead and I need to break out something circular that I don't really need a lot of. Uh, okay, what if I grab this jelly? Do I have anything else? Like an acorn's too small. Apple! Okay, Apple, you're gonna do something special for me. You're gonna stand there, and then I'm gonna see if I can balance on top of this apple, and... Come on. Come on. Well, you know, it it, it, it it made sense in my head. Okay. All right. Okay. Now I learned how to shield surf while in the air. Hello, friends. It's 
That's me again. Consequences of my actions. Oh. That's right. I drank all of it. Well then. I'll see you next time.